Sabo, I'm gonna, I gotta work on a couple things here to gear up for the match. Uh, also injure my Ventrilo Info. Let me take a look here. I'm just scrambling here at the moment. Got them to found my Ventrilo Info in IRC. Currently spec lock, so I guess the game is not yet started. So, with that being said, Let's talk about the matchup here tonight. We uh, we rambled a little bit earlier about the rundown. FX has had a tough season. That 3-2 to two win over CK as they started the season off. Basically then blitzkrieging their way the rest of the season. Powered up by just incredible action. And as the Whippa says here, as a man that's followed the carnage, a man and warrior for the FX roster has really been a dominant figure. I remember Warrior. Um... I've gone in, I've seen him, I've seen him play before. Warrior is a nightmare, and he does the huge critical plays. He's definitely an X Factor for his team FX tonight. DA, it's going to be a good matchup on MPI. It's going against Narf, who, uh, what needs to be said, they are just rolled in, in into a package of destruction. These guys are ready to blitzkrieg Europe and then to head off to take America. They are ready to rock and roll. We have really got it going on here tonight. Two Wolf TVs filled with 300 people as we're dialed into the team's Sportscast Network as well, ready for the Cal and Bike Finals. DA, your thoughts? This is going to be a fabulous match. I only hope I'm going to be able to watch it. Having a little bit of punk buster problems here. Apparently, I have got CVAR violations all over the place. So I'm just trying to get that figured out. Uh, it's not letting me change the things I want to change, but hopefully we'll get this fixed and we will bring you this game in just a couple of minutes here. Yeah, that being said, Sable, I'm going to hand it to you as I get my playlist good to go. I'll well, you know, I guess uh, we should do a little bit of pimping over here. Who are we? We are the Team Sportscast Network. If you haven't heard of us, uh, you can check us out at tsncentral.com. Be advised, though, if you go there, we've been doing a little bit of a uh, little bit of work on the website, so it may look or act a little off for the time being. Uh, some things that we'll be doing in the near future. CPL, ever heard of that? Cyber Athlete Professional League. Yeah, we're going to be there in what? What is it? That next week? Two weeks or thereabouts. One of the biggest events, the biggest events in the Counter Strike community. Yeah, TSN. We're going to be there covering the action live. Check it out, tsncentral.com for the details. Also, here's what I'm stoked about: the World Cyber Games U.S. Finals. Myself and Warwich, along with plenty of others, are going to yeah, be there. I'll be covering the UT 2K3. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll just look good. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm there for. He's there to hang out. Oh, yeah. Warwich is going to look pretty. Talk to the hotties. Uh, also, rumor has it that uh, there, the Intel Masters 2003 is going to feature Team Sportscast oh, yeah. Network coverage, which means that I will be there to cover the RTCW in London, England. So uh, all of our sleeping European listeners and any American listeners that might want to fly out to hang out, well, all good. Some hot girls in London, but, you know, I don't look at girls anymore. I am now a taken man. By a, t a little hot, a little frown up. So it's all good. Uh, no more looking at hot chicks for me. Game over. You can you're look. allowed you to look. You're just, yeah, yeah exactly. Not. You're allowed to look. Well, well, how does that, that go? I, I don't even know what that phrase goes. I'm not even going to attempt to, yeah, I'm not going to attempt to butcher it. But, you know, you're allowed to look. Just don't touch. <laughs> Still waiting on five players. So here's or so what I've I, heard. That's how that goes. I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, you're going to lose me on Ventrilo here for a moment. I'm going to switch to a song. I'm going to enter the NARF Ventrilo info. And we'll be back live here in just a moment on the Team Sportscast Network. Stand by.
good news, we're in. And that means you are gonna get a little NARP War Room action tonight. Proud of myself, still waiting on three players. And, uh, good thing the game was delayed. If you're just dialing in tonight, it is a victory here on the Cal Main Finals. An ultimate victory of 3 to 0 for Team X. Good games, uh, Sabo. If you have it written down, how about you give us a rundown of how that game played out? Roger that. Let's scoot away so my ear is in deafened by the incessant gunfire of oh, this Axis soldier I've been following. There we go. Digital Heresy and Team Exodus just faced each other if you missed it in the Calmain Championship for Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Ultimately, Team Exodus coming out on top. 3 and oh, They set... No, wait. They held Digital Heresy off for 10 minutes. The full time. Then they came in, grabbing the docks on MP Ice. 3 minutes. 20 seconds, scoring the first point. Then they turn around, grab the docks, capture them in 7 minutes, 54 seconds. Digital Heresy unable to cope. Can't do it. 2-0. and oh. Then Exodus again hold them off 10 minutes. I'm lagging out, guys. Yup. All right, DA, all you. Back server to you. restarted. All you wow. do. Take it away. Craziness going on there, but everybody was ready to go and then the server restarted, so now we're just getting everybody ready one more time and this game will be underway in just a second, taking a look at where Warwich, or sorry, where Sable left off uh, Sable, are you back with us? Yeah, sorry I've been having weird <laughs> connection problems all day anyways, in the final round, round number 3 over there Digital Heresy versus Exodus uh, Exodus held Digital Heresy off for the full 10 minutes, then turned it around took them 5 minutes, 48 seconds to get the documents back scoring their final point, 3-0 and oh, a victory for Team X. Expect to see lots coming out of them next season of the Cal Invitational for RTCW. Standing by, sorry to cut you off there, D, waiting on six players. Here's a rundown of the roster. Spoy for FX, Reaper, Vatican, Wildcard, Warrior, the infamous Warrior right there, Impulse, and Antidote versus the... Devastating Narf roster, five in server at the moment, Immortal, Lynch, Beaver, Mana, Obliv, and Dajin. Now Dajin is the man of the hour. He is he is the commander, as it were, of the Narf team, and he's led them to victory in two solid seasons so far. However, Narf has not been undefeated. They have taken a loss on MP base to FX who defeated them 3-0. to zero. FX have had their way with NARP in the past, but this was a matchup that had no Wolf TV and it had no Shoutcast, so no one could really see, and there were no demos, so no one could really see what FX did to get something done. Well, FX have beaten down NARP before. Can they do it on MP Ice? A map that NARP is notoriously strong on. Sabo, I don't know. Your thoughts? Well, effects that kind of come, they, they're very reminiscent of NARF, actually. They kind of came out of nowhere, out of left field. Bam, they're at the top of the world playing for the championship in the Cal Invitational. This is the professional of the professional scene in RTCW. The very fact that FX is here means it's going to be a good, intense, and exciting matchup tonight. And hey, if FX proved they could beat NARF badly before, they could very well do it again. 3-1, 3-2, we'll see. We are just waiting on what I believe War Crime was unable to get into the server due to an extra spectator on the FX team. Looks like the server has restarted one more time. QCon settings <laughs> have been loaded, and uh, Daji is, is telling him basically to stop it. Stop loading the server. <laughs> he wants to play, want to get this game underway, want to get started. We have got NARF versus Team Effect. These are the Cal Invite Finals RTCW on the Team Sportscast Network with your hosts, Warwitch, Sabo, and DA of destruction. This game will hopefully start in uh, any time now. Oh, yeah. there's war crime. Yeah. Good, we're Give good to go. Chance here. I'm going to try to fit in a quick sounder or two. Here we go. Sick of those triple digit pings? Tired of frozen, lagged out players ruining a good game? Are you ready for a war? Our voice central can provide the solutions you need for your server side latency problems with high speed servers that are fit for just about any game or mod out there. You'll have no problem getting your clan hosted. Art of War spans coast to coast with servers from Atlanta to San Jose, allowing you to select a close and convenient location. So make sure you visit www.artofwarcentral.com to get your team hosted today. 
that gaming server you have running on your old 28.8 (laughs) lacking? Tired of hunting for an empty server that you and your friends can practice on? You ever get TK'd and think, if I was the admin, I'd make them all pay. (laughs) Want to have a server that you and your team can call home? Well, look no further. ClanBank personal game servers are up for the taking at www.clanbank.com. Offering low ping servers for the lower budget gamer. ClanBank offers a variety of server options that cater to your little wallet that you probably just left in the washer. Oh, crap. Clan Bank servers support games like Quake 3 Arena, Counter Strike, Soldier of Fortune 2, Urban Terror, Return to Castle Wolfenstein, and much, much more. Visit our website at www.clanbank.com for more information on how you and your team can benefit from the luxury of your very own dependable and affordable personal server. That's www.clanbank.com. Stay tuned to TSN for this week's coupon code, and you can use it to get 20% off any Clan Bank server. <laughs> Commercials off, game on. This is the Team Sportscast Network. TSN. TSN. Source for the eSports. Yeah, that's Rebels. right. You are dialed in. The place you need to be tonight. Kicking an ass, Cal. Invite. Finals. Are you ready for a war? Let's kick ass tonight. Sabo, TA, and myself, Al Walwich. Ready to do it for you. Let's do it. That's right. Game is on. Let's talk about what's going down. Sabo, all you. Nothing from Sabo, so T.A. Oh, no. Sabo's lagging out, T. Take it away. Not good indeed. Eight minutes and team effect. Lagging out, Sabo. Are playing already underway Crappy. in the Kel Invitational. You're lagging, buddy. You might need to reconnect Mr. Sabo. You're about 20 seconds behind. Game is already underway at 8 2 3 on the clock as FX are the Axis offense for round one, set one tonight versus the NARF allied defense here in the house. Look at the good. We've got a two man defense, Immortal and Obliv, Lieutenant and Medic respectively down there and looking good. We're going to take a look and see what the rest of the NARF roster is. Allies and Axis battling for control of the shipping hallways themselves here tonight. Trying to get something done. It looks like War Crime from the NARF roster is down midfield inside those shipping hallways, battling for control, but it's going to get taken down by Antidote. Now, DA, send it to you. Taking a look at what is going on, we've got Vatican for the FX team. He is making his way up the ladder onto the communication tower, but only to be met by Immortal, but no, Immortal goes down by the hands of Vatican. Vatican deciding to kill himself and coming back just in case. Obliv still alive on top of the tower, all by his lonesome self. Seven minutes and 30 seconds to go in round one of set one. We've got NARF versus Team Effect here in the Cal Invite Finals. MP Ice is the map right now. The Allies spawning back in as the Axe has recaptured those shipping halls one more time. And the Allies, Team NARF, is setting their in- sorry, getting into position on top of that Tower of Doom, guarding those documents for all their worth. Lots of support fire firing all over the place. Seven minutes and five seconds. Haven't had a touch on the documents yet, but it's going to be coming soon. Two very powerful teams fighting it out for the title of Cal Invite Champion in this round of the Cyber Athlete. Oh, oh, I don't even know what it's called. The Cal League. DA, and I, we're just shaking off that rust today. We have not shoutcasted in 200 years, but here comes FX. Upper tier now. Warrior and Antito trying to get something done. And it'll down. Recovered by Warrior. Revived right there. Double medic team. Striking forward now. Engaging the NARF roster. Obliv running for cover. Revival's being made. The, the double medic action fighting their way forward. Trying to get something done. Axis with the grab. And we've got the grab, but it ain't going to go far as the document spirals downwards to the courtyard. And are going to get returned by oh. Doji. But no, not returned. Grabbed by Vatican out of the blue. But he's blown away. And they're going to get returned by a mortal who makes the return just inside, right there by that shipping service doorway right there. Nice play. Good play, DA. All you. That was a three-man grab. Documents were dropped and picked up three times by the incoming ex or not Exodus. That was the last game. Incoming FX team as Lynch gets off a nice Panzerfaust, taking out two members of the incoming FX team, Vatican and Impulse. 
all going down. Five minutes and 47 seconds left on the clock. Got a powerful defense set up by the NARP team. That G is just sitting on top of those documents, making sure no one gets their grubby axe hands on them. Allies reclaim the shipping halls, determined to be a thorn in the side of the incoming FX Axis. Wow, that's a lot of X's in there as the Axis capture the shipping halls one more time. And the documents have been stolen. 525, and just to see who grabbed them. FX on fire. It's Warrior, and he is legendary. Diving down the hill on the Axis skis. He's down, but taken again and grabbed. Who's got them now? Oh, he's down as well. It was the wingmen skiing behind him. Nice play. What you do is you and your wingmen ski down the hill on the Axis skis. If you're taken down, the wingmen can ski over the documents and grab them. We've got another grab. FX is just pounding the defense of NARF. And who do we have it with right now? It is uh, Allies making the return before I could see killed in the courtyard and rocking. Oh, man, it's just a rocking game tonight. Oh, I don't know why the crowd's going. Oh, uh, uh, they're suddenly cheering. 4-4-0 on the clock. Sabo looking to try to get back to you. Another grab right here. And Crater, this is an action-packed game. Anadol with the grab. Sabo, he's out of here. Panzer fouls from Lynch from Narf. Takes him down. I'm out of breath. Oh, you, Sabo. Hoo-cha. Utterly denied right there. Comes around the shipping hallway. Peeks around through the door. There's Lynch. Narf holding the Panzer Faust. Bam! Oh, denied. No. Blood gusts everywhere. The documents get returned. 4.13 on the clock. This is round one. Set number one of the Kettle Invitational Finals right here on TSN. Your Team Sportscast Network action is underway again in the shipping hallways. Where's the Axe team? They're slowly making their way around the door. No. No, yes they are. <laughs> they peeked around, decided not to go there, and then they changed their mind yet again. Reaper leading the way, runs out the long calls, air raids, shot in the head, goes down, blood in the snow. It's a red snow cone, DA back to you. And on top of that ally tower, we've got Immortal and uh, G holding down the fort, making sure those documents are nice and safe. Incoming Axe team knows the allies reclaim those shipping halls one more time. Immortal doing some nice job healing up his teammates as a blue goes down, taking some machine gun fire long distance from across that tower as we've got Wildcard and Antidote making their way now across the tower. Looks like he's got a clear path, but no, here come the allies. The Axis recaps the shipping halls, and the Axis have stolen those documents, taking a look to see who has them. Where did the documents go? Still in position, but no, allies return the documents. Not going to happen. We've had some incredible pushes by the FX team, but the defense set up by NARP has just been astounded. They are all over the place. Everywhere you go, there is somebody scary you don't want to see. And uh, with 2 minutes and 58 seconds, it looks like FX is running the time, but they've got enough time to make at least one or two more pushes. Let's see if they can find a weak spot in the NARP defense here tonight on MP Ice. Well, oh, we got a timeout here, and it's going to give us a chance to head off. I'll be right back. Kitties, as we're heading into the war room of the NARP roster. Perfect time here in the timeout scenario to find out what NARP is up to. Let's join them now and take a listen, shall we? Stand by. I'm up here on uh, coming up to Small Matter. I should be able to watch this side over here. Just worry about the uh, covered side. Do you need help getting up? No, I'm already up. All right. Dial in right now. The North War Room. What is, uh, what's Hill look like over there? There's guys all over the hill. Nine, nine, nine. nine. Like for Lynch. At least two, um, maybe four, because I get killed two, eight. but I don't. I didn't give them. Hey, should we vote kick Lynch? Yeah, Lynch is off the server. He's out of here. He's, He's going to be coming back here in just yeah, a moment. Yeah, it's 60 seconds to get back on. Well, the ref all those guys are ref. Yeah, don't pause it. You know, hopefully Lynch has got a good computer. The war room they of NARF. They pause it, they pause it like 50 times. Be Vermont. DT. Very quiet in some orange. NARF may hear you. Quiet. Still no timeout scenario 246, round one, set one. Uh, how many guys are over there in the hill? That's four, so we're going to have a couple come in service. Are there any that are out for this spawn? I don't know. I, we, me and Josh killed two, but I don't think they got gibbed. And then we died, They're and there's still, still two more on the hill. At least two more. Well, I can see two alive. Sure. Okay, so when we come back, let's uh, hey, get back. all our uh, guns on the hill. 
Yeah, we're okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go ahead and come in. All right, Lynch is good to go. To fight. It seems unlocked. Just uh, it's ready right for you. All right, we'll take this time to head back to the game and get back to the shoutcaster. Oh, Michael, hitting the wrong button. Ah, the folly of shoutcaster. Back to server number one. Hello. Cameras on at two, four, five, and uh, it was a little timeout scenario. Spent some time with the NARF roster, and it looks like we've got another timeout. So, hey, Panzer Kitten, what's, what's been going down? Panzer Kitten says hi, and actually, while I've got the microphone, I have a very important shout out I need to take care of. This shout out comes from Radom from Team Amnesia. He says, and I quote, We Europe guys have got some surprises for you Americans at QuakeCon. So, Radom is throwing down the gauntlet. He's cha issuing a challenge to the RTCW teams from the U.S. And uh, apparently, the Europeans have a little bit of a surprise for you, and uh, that's going to be something to see. I don't know, Sabo. I wish I could be there to see it. Unfortunately, I'm not. So, uh, yeah. I'm not bitter, though, about the whole quick on thing. Everything happens for a reason. We've got it figured out, and we're in another timeout here. It looks like uh, Lynch from Team Narf had some connection problems. He uh, server command overflowed, something you don't want to do in the middle of an invite final match. But uh, referee managed to swoop in there, pause the match at the last second. Actually, while Warwich was off at the war room of Team Narf, uh, Sabo and I had a nice little panic discussion trying to figure out how the hell you pause the server because uh, I, I really didn't know. But I figured it out. I saved the day. Go me. Ah, cool you. All right, TA to the rescue here tonight. And uh, Sabo, you're back. How's your lag issue looking? <laughs> Apparently not too good. Just on Sable. The uh, silent shot. Like 3,000 ping. Nice. Your ping is so high, you're, you're actually playing from the past at this point. Prepare, Prepare to, to fight. fight. Alright, D. Akuma. Looks like it's you and me. As we get ready. 3, 2, under 1. RT. Fight. CW. Let's do it. D. There we go. You. No, match has been paused one more time as uh, DA the pseudo ref pops in there to make sure that nothing happens as we wait for Lynch to come back. Looking like he's having some computer problems as well. Uh, Dudgy saying that he has actually crashed out of Ventrilo, so he is back on the server. Hopefully, we can get this going in just a couple of seconds here. And uh, what do we have happening? Dudgy saying he can't come back in. I believe the Ally team has been unlocked. We're just waiting for this to get ironed out. There is, there we go, Bond disappeared. Maybe that'll fix things just a little bit. But two minutes and 45 seconds left on the clock. This is round one of set one. Narf versus Team Effect Cal Invite Finals with Warwich, Sabo, and DA. Well, the kind Allied of. Tauntaun, Taun, the Axis Goat, and yeah. the Panzer Kitten. We're all here. It's a party. <laughs> kind of with Sabo. He's, he's got that 3,000 ping, so he might be dropping out of the battle here tonight as you and I finish things off. Uh, it's it's going to be a late night for us here because... Round one, set number one, here at 11.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and the game is still paused. We briefly spent a little time in the war room of NARF. We could return there during the course of the game to hear how these guys communicate. At present time, we're just kind of wasting time as the timeouts are being handed out as NARF is, is trying to gear up their soldiers appropriately here in the game tonight. Very important that everybody have an appropriate ping, because this here, there's a lot on the line, Sabo. If you're back, we're going to take your ping again. Marco. Marco. Polo. Marco Polo. <laughs> Simultaneous Marco Polo. Okay, let's try this again. Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. I think we're good. All right. We'll let you do some talking. I'm, this I'm is what TSN breath. does. Yeah. <laughs> Marco Polo. During match pauses. <laughs> That's right. We play Marco Polo. In case, uh, in case you people didn't know, what's going on? Two Never say that TSN is not a wild shot. party. That's right. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good live lands. We play Marco Polo all night long. <laughs> we're crazy. You don't. Know, uh, I think we're Actually, rambling. Let him wait. Take away. Here we go. Jaybo, take it away. I'll do it. Here, two, three, four. You guys, what are you doing? Crazy shoutcasters making out, Sable and DA kissing, or something. Leave it to me. Secret. 
2.22 on the clock here tonight. Round one, set one. Allied defense tonight is the G. FX incoming FX with a nice series of touches on the document so far. Have not been able to get it done, but there's a grab right there. FX with the grab and then a return and take a return. Impulse has got it. Can he do it? Can he bring it home? We'll find out now. Sable, come on, 201. FX impulse now rushing through the tunnel. Out, taking a long path. He's out on the grass. Sees Vatican off there in the distance, running towards the half track, past the half track. No access, no allied troops behind him. Document still in possession of impulse. He's all alone. 143 on the clock, rushing into the radio the room. Vatican win. holding position, oh, yeah. keeping it nice and safe. 818, clock set by Team FX. Round one, set one. Shall I final round? Begin. After some crazy mishaps in that round, we've got Team Effect managing to set a time of 8 minutes and 18 seconds. That is the time NARC needs to beat if they want to steal a point away from the FX team. Taking a look at some statistics very, very close. We've got NARF coming in overall 50% efficiency. Daji on top with 60% for himself. 11 kills, 6 deaths, and 2 suicides. Over on the FX team, 48% efficiency as a team. As a team, they're absolutely very close all together. Oh! Crazy Sounders, Rogue what's going Sounder. on? <laughs> Carry on. Oh. But Antidote for the FX team, 53% overall coming out on top for his team. Looking like what is going on right now? 8.18 on the clock, waiting on two players to get this next round underway. We managed to make it a whole two and a half minutes without having any connection problems. Let's see if we can extend that this time, right? Well, you know, it is the Cal Invite Finals. Once again, if you are just dialing in, uh, the Cal Main Files, the uh, Main Finals, DH versus Exodus. A 3 to 0 victory for X. Now get themselves that buy to advance to the Cal Invite's next season. They learned it. Seven six five. Here's that rope sounder. Oh, CSN. The goggles. They do nothing. Nine. And we're live, and we're back. And you know the drill. It's the team's sportscast network. Triple W dot Central.com. Six on six. Now the Axis offense of Narf, Immortal Lynch, Beaver, Mana, Oblive, the G War Crime versus FX Allied Defense of Vatican, Reaper, Wildcard, Warrior, Impulse, and Antidote. Already dynamite plant on the surface doorway. Seven five one. We will hop into their war room when it comes back to me. But first, we're gonna play a little tag and send it to Sabo. Roger that, Team FX, oh, <laughs> losing control of the forward flag room over there right quickly. Reaper comes rushing in, trying to take control of the room, but members of the NARF team, Lynch, the G, War Crime, spawning in there along with some medics reviving in the room. They're going to hold position, regroup a little bit before they rush out towards the hillock. 722 on the clock, and here comes the push. NARF, Axis team is outside. DA, take it away. The service door has been breached, but NARF decides to take the outside route. 7 on the clock. They make their way now towards that Allied Tower, making a good push, clearing the path of any allies in oh. their way. Allies, though, reclaim the shipping halls. And on top of the tower, we've got defense. We've dynamite. got Reaper. Oh, and the dynamite has them planted at the fortress wall, just trying to clear their path just a little once they grab those documents. 6.52 on the clock, NARF being very, very aggressive, which is exactly what they need to do if they want to steal a point away from the FX team. And the Axis have stolen the documents. We've got the first grab of this round. Unfortunately, they did not get far. Looks like we had a crater as Immortal fell to his death and the documents were returned. They are still safe and sound, but the Axis are coming in, making a good push on the documents. And with 6.28 on the clock, Narf has got their work cut out for them. Yeah, absolutely. Narf is moving strong and hard, advancing now. Here comes Lynch up the hand over hand ladder, but taken down, unable to get anything done. Now I want to hear these guys in action. Let's take this time right now to head off to their war room. DA and uh, company, I will be back here in just a moment. Um, <laughs> back in line, stand by. <laughs> All right, I'll leave them behind here, and we'll head off to the war room. Let's uh, shamble on in, shall we? You would not believe how many things I've got. Heading into the NARF room now, let's... Uh... Nothing. Oh. Not getting anything from the wall. Very quiet. Just 
Yeah. Hey guys, it's three up top. Three up top. There, it took me long enough. I think they spawned somewhere around 17 on respawn. I don't know though. Five one eight on the clock. Uh, I think Let's push out the hill. Like oh yeah, four. Nar four room. Take a listen now. Nar is on eight. Axis offensive push, trying to beat the time of eight one eight. Let's take a listen. We're gonna be spawning at like five. 13. Spawn time rushed. recorded, 4.55 on the clock. Several members have narfed down here and they'll serve us always. Moving outwards now, tracking Immortal. There's one on the back wall. Notes the Allied Defender on the back wall to try to take out the Allies. covered ladder, covering it. 4, 3, 7. There's one up there. It's going, it's going, it's Crap, He's got it, he's got the run, he's got the jump, it is a mortal narf, let's see what they can do. Bounding inside, he's got the grab, taken down, oh, still it. alive, no. he's got it. Go, no, just run, run, run. Oh, he's down, down. right down. in the service door. And Reaper Damn makes it. the return. Nice play right there, good play. One guy going for flag. I'll circle back and get him. And... I think I got him. Round yeah, one, set him. two, three, five, six on the clock. Josh, kill yourself this spawn and just me and you go out. Unless you're in a good position. No. Oh, oh I need a medic. Where? Nice carnage I going down. We're going to leave that war room behind here and we are quickly going to connect it back to the land OTSN. To Sable and DA, probably wondering where in the hell I am. Hi guys, I'm back and we're good to go. RTCW continues nice bantering going on in the NARF war room here tonight. Talking strats, talking offense, talking the defense in position for the FX team. Now with 320 remaining, let's get back to the shoutcast and uh, it's all you, Sable. We got action out here on the Hillocks. War Crime, 14 Narv looking and all alone gets shot down. A blip coming out the door towards the Hillocks, along with a mortal. Lots of action out of doors. Antidote for FX Medic hiding behind the corner, trying to outflank him. He ends up doing so. Luckily, air is being tossed, but to no avail. What's happening elsewhere closer to the Allied stronghold? All is quiet on the Western Front. Two minutes, 50 seconds on the clock here. In Round number two of set one. Scores still 0-0. Zero zero. Narf versus Vex. Kel I, final round, DA back. 2.39 on the clock as FX has a good defense set up. We've got Warrior, we've got Reaper, and we've got somebody else on top of the tower now. making Just doing a great job of holding off the incoming Narf team. And the allies reclaim the shipping hall that is definitely going to cost the incoming Axis team a little bit of time. Time that they are quickly running out of only two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock not much time at all to go as antidote makes his way back towards the forward deployment flag access recapture those shipping halls but he is going to see what he can do about that eight minutes and 18 seconds was on the clock and don't forget fx does not want narf to be able to score because they want this first point for themselves and impulse grabs that flag back from the axis team a little bit of a battle going on back and forth as the flag is owned by either side 152 on the clock don't have much time to sit and play with the flag they need to make a good push because they are starting to run out of time you know absolutely 144 here tonight in the in the in a favor of fx here tonight these guys have been awesome at controlling that flag i've been watching some of their strats as they hide one man behind and he watches as all the axis members that's run past him Sweeps in there, grabs the flag, really forces Narf to, to head back and secure those hallways. And that is vital here tonight. Vital for FX to do that because they're trying to control the docks and keep them home for another 1 minute and 20 seconds. If they can do this, they're going to go up 1-0. to zero. FX is a team coming into this game very confident. They have beaten Narf down before, defeated them 3-0 to zero on base. They want to do the same thing here tonight and show that Narf is no longer the invincible team that they once were. One minute warning is now in effect as a it looks like the FX team, they are able to hold off Narf. Narf is going to have maybe one chance if they can get something done here in the next 5 to 10 seconds. Save them. Beaver Mania right here coming up, trying to get onto the top. Ruby gets ambushed in the back. In fact, the entire team, they're trying to get on that, that, that mid-level tier. The members of the Allied team hiding in the shipping hallway doing a very good job of holding off the Axis. Reaper right there, FX, along with Warrior on the roof, firing down the uh, down the spawn side ladder as the G 
and, and Beaver Mania is trying to climb up. The G makes it up to the roof level two on one. What's gonna happen? The G goes down before he gets the chance to grab the documents. 20 seconds on the clock though. He can't do a thing. Narf can't do a thing. It's gonna go one and zero. Team FX in the lead. CA. Definitely in garbage time as he last last five seconds here. Good play by both teams, but in the end, Team Effect just edging out Narf, and they gonna go up one point to zero. And the allies win. Active could not beat the clock. One to zero is the score. Team Effect over Narf. This is the Cal Invite Finals here on the Team Sports Cast Network. You are listening to Warwich DA and Sabo. The map is MP Ice, not Beach. It's Ice. And uh, one to zero is the score. Statistic-wise, for the Axis offense of North, that last engagement, the highest of which is a 59 for Deji with a 16 and 11, followed up by 55 for Beaver Mana or Beaver Mania, I don't know, uh, with a 19 and 15. Now, 62% efficiency for FX Warrior, leading the pack once again. He is the dominant soldat for the FX squad, as has been noticed time and again. This is a guy you want on your team. Warrior lives up to his name with a 20 and 12 kill to death ratio followed up by a 55 from reaper also the kill to death right there with a 15 and 12 getting it done then in the territory position at the 48 antidote with a 15 to 16 ratio antidote largely responsible for the fx squad in recapturing the flag watched him numerous times in that harasser position watching the axis narf team storm past him going back grabbing the flag and then trying to hold that flag as long as possible to force narf on a bad respawn one to zero is the score for fx right now sable it looks like we got a game start and a match start right now countdown is underway take it away Sable lagged out or by missing an action. TA. Narf gets a full 10 minutes on the clock this time around as they're going to try and sweep past oh, that FX defense. Oh, we've got some lag problems happening one more time, but I'm just going to keep talking. Right now, the allied team of Team Effect Five, making their way the through four. the shipping halls. And uh, battle me. going on inside that forward deployment flag room as the allies, or sorry, the Axis Three. team of Narf. Tries to get in there, tries to get that dynamite planted. 9.30 is on the clock. We've got and a, a yellow light here we at go. the in a round oh. <laughs> yellow awesome. light at the door, but it's not going to happen. The engineer was taken out, and the dynamite is fading away into nothing. Dynamite not planted at that service door, but here comes a couple of engineers. We've got backup engineers as Obliv dynamite. bending over, and the dynamite has not planted at that service door. Medic coming in, trying to get that dynamite defused, but it's not going to happen because, hey, he's not an engineer. Axis captures those shipping hulls. Dynamite has not planted, and there is nine minutes and three seconds on the clock. Now's the chance for, uh, for Narf to show that they can change momentum here. They're down one to zero, but this ain't nothing for Narf. They, they've suffered this kind of, of, of pressure before. These guys can get it done. One to zero in favor of FX here tonight. The majority of their focus has been forced to be on the flag area, and you've got to credit FX for that. FX keeping them busy here tonight at 838. The service door is breached. And now the NARP Axis squad going to get their chance to make a play on the documents. Momentum not really in their favor. Momentum still favoring the defensive stature of the FX roster right now. Who with the fastest time of 818 is not altogether fast, but still fast enough to beat the default time here tonight. An incoming rush over the cover ladder. It is NARP trying to get something done, but they are being shot down in the cubby hole. The G makes a nice revival right there. A Loyman left to remain standing at his lens trying to get something done, but a wild card takes him down and revives the deadly warrior who's back and in charge. And back over on the document tower, we've got a Reaper looking good. So it's a three-man defense, maybe two-man defense on the upper tower, looking to be more like a three. Two on covered ladder side, one on document side, and several members down in the field. Green light by the fortress wall. The engineer in position appears to have been the one and the only Obliv who gets the dynamite plant fortress wall going to allow the NARP team another avenue of approach. DA, back to you. 7.32 on the clock now as we've got lots of carnage happening on top of that tower, but here come Narf. They're looking good. They've got back up, and the documents are in peril as Deji grabs the documents, making his way back across the tower, jumping down now. He is backed up by another member of the Narf team, and inside the shipping halls they go, backed up by Immortal and being met at the opposite end by even more of his teammates, looking like they could make a good, solid push of this run. 
Deji still making his way now through the tunnels, backed up by War Crime and Immortal. They are now outside over on the snow-covered grass. Deji just taking it safe. He's got plenty of time. 6.57 on the clock, making sure he's not being followed. Backed up by a couple members. Throwing out. Here's the rest of the Axis team. Looking good. Communication tower of Lesser Doom is in sight. We've got good defense, good backing up, and it looks like this is going to be a point. And we've got time set at 3.16. Narf comes back and shows us what they're made of. 316 on the clock. Damn. Excellent time set by Narf. Narf ain't going down like that. 316 on the clock set by Narf. Land the SmackDown FX saying, beat that, suckers. Your time of 818. That's nothing. Eat three minutes. How's that feel, Sabo? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. Uh, I think Sabo's down for the count. Yeah, you're out of here, bud. Hopefully I'm not. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll break it. You are not toast. lagging anymore. You're toast. Put Sable on mute for the time being. It looks like <laughs> that's like some rough love. Sable, you go on mute, son. <laughs> Definite issues here tonight, but that was an excellent play by the NARF team. Let's take a look at some of the statistics. What happened in those three minutes and 16 seconds? NARF definitely outplaying the FX team. 56% efficiency for NARF. Had Beaver Mano with a 71% efficiency for his team. And Daji with an efficiency of zero. Still, he was the one to get those documents home, so you can't give him too much problems. But over on the FX team, 43% overall as a team. Vatican with 75% overall. Nice work. Round is about to begin. And 3 minutes and 16 seconds is the time that FX needs to be if they do not want the game to be tied. And it's looking like it just could be a tied ball game here tonight. FX take the offensive push. The time to be 3-1-6, which means they've got about one or two chances, which means as well that they have got only they've got to get everything done correctly. There can be no disarmaments. They've got to strike their objectives, get them over with ABC, and get to those documents and bring them home. A S A P Laugh Out Loud G G. All right, two four nine Dynamite Plant Service Doorway. Incoming push now of FX roster Allied defense here tonight. What are the Allies doing? I'm not seeing many of the Allies here around the tower or the fortress itself. Sabo, uh, you're back. Let me go ahead and take you off of uh, the mute here tonight. And D A. Ah, Sabo, you're good to go. Take it away. Marco. Polo. That's strong. Polo. Hi <laughs> there. Yes, two, yes, two, I five. hear you. I'm not lagging. 225 on the clock right here. Oh, Warwick, the game just locked and I'm lagging again. All right, Sable, so, yeah. DA back to you. Good game, buddy. It's DA and sure. Warwick going to finish up tonight. All you need. Service door has been breached. Two minutes and ten seconds left on the clock. Looks like Narf has fallen back to the tower now. We've got Lynch and we have got Obliv. Sitting up here, followed by Beaverman, and making sure that no one gets through. Only two minutes on the clock, not a lot of time at all. That service door has been breached, though, and Effect is making their way now through the shipping halls. They've got enough time for a couple of good, solid attempts at those documents. Lots of artillery support being thrown out by War Crime, doing a lot of damage, taking out Impulse and Antidote. Nice play indeed. Got machine guns aimed at that shipping hall entrance. We don't want any of the Axes to survive, but Warrior doing all he can with his pistol on top of that mid-level tower not gonna happen Deji takes him out from behind with his Thompson 130 is on the clock it is not looking good for FX but stranger things have happened documents are still safe and with one good solid push this game the tide could turn you just don't know you know well Marf is a team if you push these guys they push back and that happened here in round number two set number one with a grab dock time of 316 one minute away now from tying up that ball game against FX, who are clearly looking dominant. Let's sound the one minute warning. Now the allies are playing nice the shipping hallways. Work by a Very bit. nice indeed. Taking down several members oh. of the opposing force. Nice Panzerfaust right there from Lynch. Takes down Vatican and Wildcard. And at 47 seconds, it looks like Narf is going to be able to tie this ball game up. Revivals being made. The G and friends falling back to a defense around the document tower and the covered ladder tower. 35 seconds. DA, I'll sound the alarm and let you take us home. 30 second warning means we are now officially in garbage time. Not even possible to grab those documents and run all the way back to the Axis communication tower of Lesser Doom. 
Narv set in that time in 3 minutes and 16 seconds definitely did themselves a nice favor, able to hold off effects for that long. Allies have stolen those documents, Warrior yeah, has them, but uh, there's really no point because he's not going to get very far. 6 seconds left, trapped inside the fortress wall, which was not blown up. Documents still in possession, but no win. taken out, and the Allies win. The score is now 1-1, one to one. Cal Invite Finals. One to one, objective not reached in the time of 316. Narf now coming back and making the magic happen. DA, it's uh, been a good game for sure. Sabo shot down in the field, giving it his best. Joined us for the Cal Main Finals, which was a victory 3 to 0 for Team Exodus, who walked away in that one right there. Dominating over DH here tonight, we thought FX might come into this crushing Narf with that quick 1-0 to zero score, but Narf has come back and tied it up on MP Ice tonight. We've talked about the rosters, we've talked about the strats, we're waiting for the six players, and shortly we're going to be heading back to their war room here to get another gander at the communications from a champion team like Narf waiting on two players deep. Still waiting on those two players. Want to give a quick shout out to Gibbs or Jibs. Not quite sure how he pronounces that, but he's hanging out, whining because we haven't given him the on-air love. So there you go, Gibbs. On-air love for you. Thanks for tuning in. Still waiting on two players, taking their sweet time. Going to give you a quick rundown of the rosters one more time. Team Effect FX. We've got Reaper, Vatican, Wildcard, Warrior, Impulse, and Antidote. Faces the NARF team, Immortal, Lynch, Beavermana, Obliv, Dudgy, and Warcrime. Good lineups for both of these teams here tonight. These are the Cal Invite Finals for RTCW. Brought to you by Team Sports Cast Network. You've got Warwick, you've got DA. We kind of have Sabo. The match is about to begin in just about 12 seconds. Hello. You are tuned into Axis RTCW Radio. Here. On the TSN. So, ah, the microphone ain't working. The Germans are coming in a 9 to 5 2 here tonight. It's a fresh round, a fresh engagement. 1 to 1 is the score. Round 3, set 1, or set 3, round 1. Axis offense is FX. Now we're going to see DA. Can FX be a little bit faster than 8 minutes and 18 seconds? It's clear they're going to have to be because NARF shows they can do this in 3.16. At 9.28, NARF is on the Allied defense tonight. And let's take a look and find out what these two classic teams have got planned. Now you're getting excited. And you're getting a little bit frisky, so something's going down midfield. Oh, yeah, oh. getting frisky over here because the engineers are doing something sneaky. We had Beaver Mana managing to take out the engineer for the incoming Axis team. Took out the engineer before the dynamite could be planted. Dynamite faded away into nothing, and then we had two of the allied engineers coming in and planting dummy dynamite at the service door. So it's a very pretty nice red glow here. We've got two dynamites in midair, but they're dummy dynamites. They blow up, and no damage is done. So right now, things are quiet. Eight minutes and 50 seconds as the axes come through the tunnels one more time to try and get a drop on the NARF team defending those documents with all they have. 8.40 on the clock, and uh, yeah, like Warwick said, it's very, very quiet. The flag room is deserted. I see one member of the Allies team that's uh, no sign of the Axis. Warwick, do you have a drop on yeah, them? Yeah, I'm going to log on them right now. They are in coming to the south connection, actually the north connection right now, making the advancement towards the doorway itself trying to get something done, but the Allies are here. Uh, Narf is in position, locking it down. Let's head over to the doorway at 8.14 to find out what's happening here. Dynamite defused by Oh, it's the Axis Engineer right there. Ah, da. <laughs> Dynamite planted and defused here. FX Warrior, the Engineer, getting it done. And Narf in position to make another defusement, but I do not see an Engineer. It looks like he might have been blown away, gone with the wind. But at 7.53, this shows that the FX roster has been delayed. If at this point they've not taken down the doorway, that means that they have got themselves some trouble. 7.42, waiting for the service door to be breached. Right now, FX slowing down. And at 737, and the door is breached, and now the route is open for FX to get something done. But NARF is not letting go of the service always. They are fighting for every inch, being very aggressive, almost like the doctors way back when, trying to push all opposing teams to their spawn point. We've got a timeout, DA, oh. and a perfect time for me to head off to their war room. We're going to do that now and take a listen to what NARF has got planned. Stand by. <laughs> Uh, 
there anyone in North Hall? I'm gonna panzer into North Halls right now. We're about me and Dave, I think, are about to go down, and me and Dave are about to go down. No. Nope. We're yep. down outside. I'm here. going down. Cannon's on. Back underway. Go help him, mortal. I'm down. Seven one five. Narf on the defensive. You are Let's listening to their water round. All right. In control I of the make flag. Sure there's no one there. Dominant. I'm going to. FX cannot get out of their That's spawn. Stuck it's in the just, service hall. Be in the tunnels right now. Here they come. Oh, nice Panzer fast from Lynch. Three man kill. I can do a five. Takes him down in the again. choke hold. Booyah. All right, can't turn out. Another oh, out. And another timeout being back. called right now. Yeah. <laughs> This war room session of NARF brought to you by Clan Bank. Right, where, where are they at? Let's Triple W dot Clan Bank dot com. Uh, box yeah. room is clear. Looks like North Hall is pretty clear. All right, then I'm gonna fall back to the South Hall. So I just ran to the flag real quick. Prepare to fight. Prepare to fight. Where Game's gonna on pause here at eight seconds. I can't see the window. Six, four, three on the clock. Game on! Fight! 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 Narf still in control of the flag. I'm in box rooms. Box Again, rooms Narf here. dominating. Two man Panzer Faust kill. Yeah. FX on, cannot get out of the service hall. Where they going? Incoming FX push. They're hitting box rooms. North! 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 The Axes capture the shipping hallways, they've got it! They're yeah, right here, I killed all their medics. I killed all their medics. They're pushing through service door, we need to fall back. They're pushing through service door right now, they're gonna be at the tower. We're intercepting them. Yeah, damn, this you is awesome. You wanna be medic, Matt? Not I'll falling back right, right now, medic, falling yeah, back to tower medic. defense, they've lost control. Stay up top. Let's go set up, they have the flag. I'm going right now. Top notch, A+. Plus. Hey, I need one of those ammo packs, cocksucker. Didn't airstrike something. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> just, nope. just ammo pack, uh, cork sucker. I like that. Already, already. Already by spawn ladder. Two upper tier defense. Josh is already right next to you, but five three seven on the clock. Nar forward. Sounds like you're going There's around. There's one, two, three, three tunnel, three all the loot, all the loot in it. Got two of them. Two of them dead again. A rare insight into the war room oh, of the championship dead. team. Another already on spawn ladder, don't go over there. Five oh, one shit. seven. Already on already cover on too. They spawned on, they spawned on. Narf, allied defense. There's already right there, Matt. It all hit me, dude. This spot's safe, it's the best. Alright. Oh. 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 Another already on spawn ladder. Right, one, on spawn one on hill! Ladder. One on hill! One on hill! Rest are all I got the kill guy. Most of them spawn long. Hey, Beaver, I need ammo back. Oh, they're in service, Josh. One on the hill. One to one is the score. Yeah, Round one three, one set one. Narf hey, I'm down. I'm down, Beaver. One got me from mid roof, dude. Oh, oh that fuck. Airstrike got me. Airstrike, yeah. Beaver. Trouble. The tower Dave, is open. Spawn ladder. Stay right there, Dave. Spawn ladder. Spawn ladder. Spawn ladder. Dave, One going over there. Nah, that's it. They got the spawn ladder. Coming up spawn ladder. Moving up the spawn. Here comes the Axis Antidote with the grab. Play. He's got it. He's going to be able to do it. He's got it. And he's going to bring it home. Return that. The Allies on, make on the, the return. Bucha, let's leave the war room behind. Head back to TSN and catch up with DA. DA of destruction. What's going down, baby girl? Had a couple of grabs of those documents by the incoming allied team of Team FX, but unsuccessful as NARF manages to put a couple of bullets in their bags and take those documents back for themselves. Only 3 minutes and 44 seconds left to go. Enough time to make a couple of good solid pushes on those documents. Let's see what Team FX can do. A couple of just really good panzer shots by Lynch from the NARF team, uh, even though he's having some connection problems. Even he still managed to get like a two man kill and then a three man kill and then a two man kill. And so I was sitting here making all these delighted noises at these Panzer Faust kills that you missed them entirely because you were too busy having the fun in the war room of <laughs> Team NARF. So uh, you're lost, buddy.
Oh, yeah, yeah, I do like those delightful noises, and hopefully we'll see a few more Panzerfaust kills here tonight as you and the Panzer Kitten get excited here. One to one is the score. A fantastic war room session. Very nice insight. Incredible communication from the NARP roster. And I uh, love the way they ask for ammunition. Draw me an ammo pack, cork sucker. Uh, not quite cork, but you know, it's you. It's awesome. Good time. <laughs> Two five zero machine gun fire going down. Here comes wild card. Spawn side ladder. He's a medic. Incoming now. They have got it. Axis with the grab. You know, Narf realizes they're in trouble now. Taking it down to the hallways. No, taking it over the fortress wall and shot down. Crossfire brought to you by the Allies. The Allies make the return. It is Doug G, the captain of the Narf roster, who gets it done here and now. And at 225, Narf is still in control. Their defense D is getting a little ragtag, a little ragged. You can see that they're really having a start to scramble to get back in position, but so far, FX has not been able to get those documents past that 10-yard line, not since the first round one set one. It appears that NARF has adapted, and their A-game is on fire. Two minutes, all you. It takes one heck of a team to make NARF scramble for their defense, so you got to give major props to Team Effects for making them have to scramble. But on the other hand, even when NARF has to scramble, they're still a force to be reckoned with. 146 is left on the clock. We've got support fire all over the place as the Allies reclaim the shipping hallways just to kind of rub it in the faces of Team FX. Ha ha, we tied the game up. And now the fight is on. 1.33 on the clock. Starting to run out of time. Effects needs to get in here quickly if they want anything uh, if They want anything to happen over here. Trying to ignore what's going on in the console because it's distracting me. But that's okay right now. Team Effects coming through. Panzerfest from NARF. Only taking out one member. Not quite enough to make me squeal. But still, I always like the effort. 1.13 to go. Not much time. Warwitch, I'll throw it back to you. <laughs> Talking with Wolf TV and having a good time. You know what? It's awesome being a shoutcast are getting to just to, to kick ass and, and, and watch these incredible games is the one minute warning. Had a long history with Return to Castle Wolfenstein with these, these amazing teams. Here's a potential grab. Here comes Antidote, and we've got the grab with Wild Card now. Can he bring it home? This is an important play. They do want to set the time, even if it takes them forever. They want the chance to score the point. And here's the chance now. Antidote with the grab. 39 seconds on the clock. 50-yard line. Into the service hallways now. Outside to the snow-covered grass. Making his way to the south connection. And the half track. 28 seconds. Countdown underway. Running inside. FX has got it. Wild card now. Bounding inside. Can he set the time? Ambush inside. Wild card in. And he gets Gets it done at nine. Four zero. That's an important play, DA. Absolutely. You want to get a time on the scoreboard, no matter what that time is. We have seen entire tournaments won with two seconds to spare. 9.40 is the time on the clock. NARF needs to beat that if they want to steal another point away from Team FX. Everybody readying up. Very, very good play. Managing to get in there. 20 seconds to spare. Taking a look at the efficiencies one more time. NARF outplaying Team FX by just a little. 55 to 44 is what we are looking at. A blib for Team NARF coming out on top with 77% efficiency for his team. And over on the FX side, we've got... Uh, who is that? That's Warrior with a 60% efficiency overall. Good round played by both of these teams. Lots of pretty colors on my screen as we wait for four more players to begin this, what will be round number two of set number three. Score is tied at 1-0. to zero. NARF versus Team Effect. I'll invite finals. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it looks like the game will be starting soon. So... You've got it tuned into TSN's RTCW Allied Radio. It's time to kick some Axis butt. Rock on! I don't like that sound. No kicking Axis butt. <laughs> My poor cat wants out. 931, she's traumatized by the shout cast. We'll open the door, let her out, and hand it to you. 
9.23 on the clock as NARF has got to beat that time. They want to steal this point away from Team SX. Dynamite. Right now, though, Dynamite has been planted at those service doors. A new forward deployment flag has not been taken, but here comes Obliv. He takes it for his team. Axe is capturing those shipping halls. Right now, lots of carnage happening inside the tunnel, but it looks like Antidote still alive for the FX team, waiting for some backup in the form of the rest of his teammates. He's all by his lonesome self, swooping in there and uh, just deciding to wait. There we go. Grabs the flag back from the NARF team, reclaims the shipping halls, and then kills himself. Dynamite has been planted at those fortress walls. Service door has been breached. 8.44 on the clock. And until Warwick lets me know he's back, I'm just going to keep on Don talking. Here. Right now, swooping outside. Oh, there we go. Headed back to you, Warwick. All right, 8.35 here on the clock. If you're just joining us, score is 1-1. One one. Here's how the game has unfolded so far in MPIs for the Cal Invite Championships. FX... Round one, set one, 8.18, grab time. Narf unable to beat that time. FX goes up 1-0. to zero. We're thinking Narf has got some problems, but Narf comes back. Round two, set one, 3.16. And guarantee you, FX could not beat that time. One and one, FX, round three, set one. Finally get the docks at nine minutes and 40 seconds. Narf, like I said, they can do it in 3.16, so this is three times the amount of time that Narf needs to get something done, but still a critical play because FX have the chance to get up on the scoreboard. They're just going to have to really tighten down that defense and really stop that incoming Narf roster right now. So far, they seem to be having some success here tonight with a two-man upper-tier defense, one spawn ladder, one left-hand side, 7-4-2 on the clock here tonight. Sporadic uh, explosions and gunfire going down, one allied member on the wall overlooking the courtyard to kind of uh, take out any incoming down from the service hallways inside. A mass of airstrikes over by the fortress wall and sporadic NARF um, offensive axis pushes incoming here, but they are being shut down by the crossfire and the airstrikes from above. At 718, all you. Nice long distance defense of machine gun work by the FX team, but here comes NARF through the shipping hallway one more time. Going to make another grab for those documents as we've got a team of the G Immortal and who was that? That would be Lynch making their way up the side ladder only to be met by the machine gun of Warrior. Warrior throws out a couple of airstrikes trying to stop them as they come in. Right now though, on top of the Tower of Doom, we've got lots of explosions. Lieutenants are just working their little butts off. Ready for the medic for the FX team. Keeping an eye on the documents on this side. Got some backup coming in the form of Warrior and some machine gun fire across that grassy plane. We've got Immortal throwing up a couple of grenades, trying to get up there, but he's taking machine gun fire on the top of his head. He is backed up, however, by Daji making his way up. We've got a fight. Reaper and Daji. Daji comes out on top, grabs the documents, jumps down, and falls to his death. But it's okay because there's Immortal. They're grabbing the documents for him, makes a play, running inside the shipping hallways. He is a medic. He's healing himself, but he's met oh, by Antidote. Ambush. Antidote was waiting for him. Nice play by FX indeed. 6-10 on the clock. So close for Narf, but it's not going to happen. Not as long as Antidote is on the clock. You know, that's right. And uh, good game so far. Six minutes remain, as you call it here tonight. And we do have a timeout, Ooh, which is perfect time. Once again, for the war room. Uh, head into it right now. Narf, let's find out what these guys are chatting about. Spawning in all of us, spawn bomb. There's like four of us. You two are the only two alive. Man, I hate when this... It's all good. Fucking... Hi, TSN. Hey. Hey. You. Oh, TSN's on right now? Yeah. You're on drugs. Oh, I just wanted to say it's that... It's Ed Warwitch! ...downgrade. <laughs> oh, no. You're the best part. I love that. Yeah! Hey, there's 5.58 left on the clock, and I'm about to go raid the whole fucking entire team and take the docks and cap them <laughs> in uh, about four, at about four, yeah, watch, watch it's it happen. Hey, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go bomb this phone letter. But, this phone letter? Oh! This phone letter, Leech, where you at? do it! And now, fucking public service announcement for fucking TSN. Sometimes dealing with all you asshats causes a shoutcaster to drop occasional F-bomb, or two, or five. To put it another way... <laughs> Yep. If you are offended by fuck shit, pussy you bitch, you know what that means. An ass for that damn motherfucking oh, yeah. stupid fuck or fucking bitch. Then please disconnect now. Because it's only going to get worse. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cork suckers. We're back. Hi. 
<laughs> What's going on, Dean? Oh, yeah, we know what that means. Oh, I love oh, that Oh, we've sound. got another grab, and, oh, teammates taking each other out, but only so. Oh, who is that with the documents? Looks like Beaver Man has the documents for the Axis team of NARP. Run, making Beaver. their way now, reviving their teammates. Oh, it's not Beaver Man. Yes, it is. What are you talking about? Run, Confusing Beaver. me there. But needing to... Oh. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> oh, what's no, going yes, on? no, crap. The mortals got it. Off the body of the Beaver. Five minutes now, charging forward, chased <laughs> by FX. Trying to beat the time, NARF want to go up, two to one, have a chance by the half track, Immortal in trouble, ambush, Immortal diving for cover, here comes the Axis Schnell, covering him now, here comes Immortal, bound and home, Immortal now, 40 yard line, coming to the 30, 30, 30 yard line, now to the 25, bounding home for the touchdown, four, three, eight, NARF want to be the reigning champions three times in a row, inside and they beat the clock, the Axis win, Yo, NARF goes up two to one, wow. You deaf? Yeah. Very exciting game. 5.05 is the time that NARF did well, beating the 9.40 set by Team Effects. Score is now 2-1 to one in favor of Team NARF. Came back from a one-point deficit. It was 1-0 to for Team Effects. NARF came back and tied it. And now Marf, NARF, NARF, MARF? Marf? MARF is in the lead. Go Team MARF. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's late. I'm tired. I'm hungry. But that's okay. Cal Inbet action. Lots more to come here on the Team Sportscast Network with Warwitch and DA yeah. and uh, Sabo, who we lost in the battle. Yeah, he's been shot yeah, down. Yeah, prisoner of war. You know, I'll, I'll do this. Let's play the NARF theme song. I have it. I have it. I have it. Let's play it right now. No. What is NARF? Do you mind telling me what that is? Well, let's see. It's like. Do it. Or um. Oink. We're on drugs. Something. TSN. That is sauerkraut in line leader hose. TSN. God, I hate it when I get sauerkraut in my leader hose. That's no good. No good. Fight. It's sticky. Yeah. Around four, set one, two to one in favor of the NARF. Narcotics are fun. Game is underway as NARP is once again on the Axis offensive push. They've got the momentum, and now if they can set another time like 316, we may as well just pack up and go home, because it will be game over. But if FX can hold them off, it's game off. D8935. Dynamite has implanted at the service door by the incoming Axis engineer. Doing a good job getting in there nice and early, but Warrior is there, and Warrior is dodging some grenades, wants to get a defuse on that Dynamite, takes out the engineer, and there we go, leaning over, he's being attacked from the door. One of his teammates oh, is having nice a little bit of a fit in the door there. But defusement of the Dynamite by Warrior gets in there, and that is going to cost the NARF team some time. Now he's throwing down some dummy Dynamite just to confuse things a little bit. After capturing those shipping halls, need to get an engineer in here again to get that door blown up. That is going to be a very important access route that they need. Access? Access? It's a very important route. They need to have that shipping hallway blown to pieces. Got a fight inside the flag room right now as both teams wanting to keep control of the flag for themselves. 8.45 is on the clock. We have still no access engineer at that dynamite. W Dynamite still alive and kicking. And right now incoming beaver mana but he's a medic is not going to do much and the door is clear Dy dummy dynamite has been blown but no sign of any access engineer with eight minutes and 28 seconds on the clock well it looks like they are going to send another engineer towards the doorway it is going to be a blib we're going to lean over his shoulder now let's take a listen Yeah, it's Dynamite Planet on the service door at 813 here tonight. An engineer hard at work. He doubles back now, heads towards the flag area itself, making sure the flag is secured now, bounding through those service hallways, making his way to the battlefield, the old allied storage, up towards the fortress wall. It's his next objective. Bounding forward now, the life of an engineer, waiting now, decides not to make the plan, but instead decides to get shot at and taken down by NARF from Oblib. A CEO wouldn't want to be... Oh, I'm sorry. Not a T, not a TK. He was uh, taken down by one of the members of FX. It looks like FX Impulse right there drops a nice grenade and takes down uh, Immortal from the NARF roster. Dynamite plan now on the fortress wall in position. Airstrike takes down. Oh, it looks like a little TK airstrike right there. A little NARF TK action going down at 727. A little bit confused here as I'm starting to ramble, so that means it's time to hand it back to DA. 
take you a look at what the allies are doing. Team effects on top of the Tower of Doom. We have got Vatican up here. He is a lieutenant. Got his machine gun out and at the ready. And here he is backed up by Reaper. We've got the medic lieutenant action on top of that tower. Good old-fashioned combo holding them off as the allies reclaim the shipping halls. Wanting to put a little bit of sand in the shorts of the incoming NARF team. Will it be successful? I don't know. 6.56 is left on the clock. Still plenty of time for NARF to get in here. They want to set a nice early time. So if they do that, then it's going to be very difficult for FX to come back. And this uh, next round could be game over. But don't know that just yet. 6.43 on the clock. FX still doing a great job of holding off the incoming NARF roster. But they're just regrouping. All is quiet. NARF is just taking their time because they've got some time to spare. Axe recapturing the shipping halls, and if I was effect, I'd be gearing up for an incoming push any second now. Yeah, that push is going to be coming in now. They are taking their time, maybe being held off. Maybe FX has adjusted, but NARF needs to be as fast as possible. Keep in mind that FX's fastest time is 818, but still, NARF wants to get a time like that 316, which is no longer possible, but the game is only 6 minutes and 10 seconds in, and they've got a chance here to really make an impactful time here against the documents themselves, 604. Incoming airstrikes from the NARF team in the courtyard of the Allied FX roster. Standing by, let's, uh, little dueling going by the uh, Allied spawn hut down over there. Who's going to come out on top? It looks like the FX squad is going to come out in charge of the spawn hut for the Allied side right there. The last remaining member of NARF here in that push, Beaver Mana. Drops an airstrike, then takes down his opponent FX Impulse, but it's not really going to avail him much at 5-3-5 oh. DA. What action have you picked up? Oh, Immortal was so very close to those documents. Managed to sneak up the sod ladder unaware. Took out one of the defending uh, FX guys, but then was taken down by the guy hiding inside the document hut. Looks like Reaper was in there. Reaper got the drop on Immortal and took him out before he could touch the documents, but it was very, very close. I believe he did sneak up there unaware, and then Reaper just basically took over. 510 is on the clock, and so far the FX defense doing a fantastic job up here on top of the Tower of Doom. Doing a great job of holding off Team Narf. They've, they've just, Narf is a very powerful team, and uh, oh, here we go. We've got another document grab, but it's not going to get very far. Documents have been secured. Allies returning those documents. Right now, they're still safe on top there. Reaper and Vatican doing a great job, making sure nobody gets in. No one sneaks through. Documents don't go anywhere, but Narf has got plenty of time to try again with only yeah. 4 minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. Narf checks in, but they don't check out. FX in charge. 4.33. I am seeing the NARF team slow down a little bit here in round number four. Sets number one tonight. They do dominate with a two-to-one score here, but it could quickly go the other direction to a tied ball game. Anybody's game still here in the invite finals tonight. Brought to you by the Cal League. Always providing some of the best kick-ass competition around. They have done it season after season for RTCW and many other games. Cal rocking the house. So be sure to check those guys out if you don't know what's going down. Uh, four minutes on the clock here. Still very sporadic NARF offense. Not sure what those guys are doing. So, a DA, I think it'll be time. Yaya. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The Yaya yeah, yeah time. Be back in a moment. Take a listen. Let's head to their war room. See what they've got planned because they're up to something. And we got to find out what NARF has got planned because uh, I don't know what. Let's take a listen right now. I'm by this spawn. Get me. I'm going to spawn camp. So am I. I'm ready to just spawn cap him. Need to revive him. I'm dead. 3 3 1. NARF offensive push. Two down full time. Three down full time. That's their whole team. Three down full time. Let's go. Go grab the dots. So I'll, I'll get him. I'm getting him. I'm getting him. With the I'm loading him. Right Hurry. Hurry. He's got Hurry. Let's go. Got Let's go. 15 seconds. Don't lead. Alright. You got a guy in front and behind. Let's go. I'm going Panzer! 305. Oh, I'm gonna watch my back. You guys cover my fort. Bring it at home. Fort. I got your back here. North connection. Alright, I'm out of the tunnel. I'm on with the APC. G. Team captain with the grab moving towards the half track at 252. Right, APC's clear. Let me go check out the transmitter. I got your back, Gabe. Check and transmitter. Alright. Bounding forward. Is it clear? It's clear. Don't get too close It's to me. clear. Be careful. It's Moving clear. in. 2 4 1. Here they are charging forward. And you bowl. The axes do it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And 7 1. Let me switch it back. On the clock. Let's head over to Little Miss DA. DA, you're so cute sitting here in a little war room by yourself. It's adorable. 
<laughs> 719 oh, by from my now. lonesome. That is probably 719, very yeah. good time. That's, that's, yeah, there that's, FX has got a lot of work cut out for them. Yeah, that's the that slowest time. time for NARF so far, but it's the fastest time. That it's it's faster than FX's fastest time. Slowest time for NARF, but faster than the 818 set by FX 719. Fully a minute faster than FX's fastest offensive push, which, like you said, spells a lot of work for Team FX. And if they can't do it now, it's game over. And NARF are your champions a third season in a row. Back to you. Score is now currently 2-1 to one with 7 minutes and 19 seconds on the clock. FX needs to beat 719 if they want to stay in the game. They could tie it up or they could Prepare be going home. Fight. All players have readied up now. Match is going to begin in about 12 seconds. Going to give you one last rundown of the rosters for NARF, the allied defending team. Immortal, Lynch, Beaver Mana, Obliv, Dudgy, and Warcrime. Incoming, Axe, Team FX, Reaper, Vatican, Wildcard, Warrior, Impulse, and Antidote. Fight 717 on the clock in Warwich. What do you see? Well, I see as we shall cast here from the TSN Pavilion in Axis Hill, Berlin. The crowd is on their feet now. We've got the banners waving in the air for NARF. We've got the people shouting, streaking across the field for FX. 701 is on the clock here tonight. The documents are clear. NARF is on the defense here tonight, and they are nowhere to be found around the tower, which means very aggressive midfield by the flag and to try to hold off the incoming FX roster as long as they can. Nice defusement right there as NARF is doing it and doing it well. They know what they need to do. They have got to buy as much time as possible, and by defusing dynamite like that, they are going to be able to do so. Another dynamite plant by the service door way right now as NARF remains in control of the flag. War crime maintains control as Impulse from FX tries to dash inside and get it before the respawn. Denied as NARF continues their dominant control here tonight at 6-1-6. Oh, yeah. Very good strategy to defuse the dynamite set by the Axis team. They don't have much time to begin with and that is just going to cost them a few more seconds. Second Dynamite has been planted though by Team FX and the service door has been breached. Six minutes and three seconds on the clock right now. We've got Obliv holding the fort inside the forward deployment flag room. He wants to make sure he keeps control of that as long as possible, but decided to kill himself and join his buddies out on the tower, wanting to set up their defense out there to make sure that nobody manages to sneak through and grab those arguments. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Four men tangent kill from Lynch. Holy crap! <laughs> that was awesome. Vatican, Antidote, Wildcard, and Reaper all go down. Lynch? Yeah, that was good. You're my hero. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Remember that play here tonight because he just might get the X Factor award for kills like that here tonight. FX now trying to gain control. They've got it. They're through the service doorway. They're striking hard. It's the Blitzkrieg. And another Panzer Faust from Lynch takes down Vatican and Antidote right there. NARP is not going to give up an inch. They are just forcing. Man, FX has got to fight for every single inch of the battlefield to try to get to those docks. And then when they get to the docks, they're going to have to fight all the way back home. There's the grab. Axis have got it. Here's their chance to do it. The Axis now, if they can beat this time, tie up the ball game, and FX will be able to go to that 2-2 to -two score. It is grab. It is a three-man toss right now. Wild card with the grab. I do not have a lock. Do you have a lockdown? DA. I do indeed, and even though the NARF has done a fantastic job of holding off the team, not going to happen as FX gets in there and grabs the document. Documents now, were they returned? Did not see it. No, the documents are still in possession of the Axis team trying to find them. Dutchie is out in the field trying to find the documents because NARF is all over the Axis tower. Taking a look inside now, communication room is clear. Documents are still in possession of Wildcard, but Wildcard is no Nowhere to be found. Four minutes and seven seconds on the clock. Narf needs to find him, otherwise we're going to have a tie game. But here he comes. Here is Wildcard making his way towards the tower. They are running for the home stretch the inside, and they beat the clock 3:21. That oh, is the, almost the best time we've seen so far. Wow, score is now tied 2-0. Two to zero, yeah, two this to two. is just the type of game that you came to see tonight. 2-2. Two to two. We have got a game on our hands tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It is a tied game. Here's the rundown. Round 1, set 1, FX at 8-1-8. Narf unable to beat that time. 1-0, to zero, FX. Round 2, set 1, 3-16 from Narf. 
FX can't beat that. One to one. Round three, set one, nine, four, zero for FX. Narf return the favor at five oh five. Narf go up two to one. Round four, set one. Narf slow down. Seven to one nine. But FX surprise us and strike back with the second fastest time of the game of three twenty one. They tie the game now and momentum has swept in the favor of the FX roster. TA, it's game on. Absolutely. Teams are eager to get this, get it settled once and for all. Absolutely amazing play by Team FX coming in, surprising everybody. 321 is the time they managed to set. Good enough to beat the 719 set by NARF the same time in that round. Full 10 minutes on the clock right now. Let's see if Team FX can do it again. They want to set a decent... Uh, just, if they can do that again, then uh, this game could easily go in their favor. Score is currently tied 2-2. Two to two. We thought NARF had it down, but apparently FX had another thing coming. Dynamite has been planted at that service door. We've got a guy on that. He's guarding it, making sure no one sneaks through and tries to defuse it. Going to try and stop that plan before it even begins. 9.22 on the clock. Score is tied 2-2. Two to two. NARF versus Team FX. Yeah, this uh, this round, this matchup, this championship engagement, Cal invites tonight. We're going to dedicate this one here to Art of War, one of the sponsors of the Team Sportscast Network, www.artofwarcentral.com. Check them out for your server hosting needs tonight, providing the backbone of the Team Sportscast Network at 8.57 on the clock here tonight. Here's the deal. FX are again on the axis push with incredible momentum and confidence now. NARF managed to hold them off for a great deal of time each and every engagement, but now coming back with a 3.21 and slapping aside at the time of 719 that NARF laid down in the field. They've got the aggressive momentum they need. They realize that they battled back. This game has been a 1-to-1 or 1-to-0, 1-to-1, 2-to-1, now 2-to-2. Now we are in the final engagement to determine who the champions will be. Is it going to be NARF with a third consecutive championship win or are FX going to be the usurpers and the upstarts and lay alone? We're going to find out here in just about 10, 20 minutes. You never know how long it's going to take. 8-1-4 is on the clock. D Defense right now for NARF is holding strong, but I do see the scattering of FX offensive troops in the field. Always. They have 8 minutes and 3 seconds on the clock, and already the incoming Axis team have touched the tower. Documents have not been grabbed, but it has been close. Allies' bodies were literally in the top of that tower, but they were able to just get in there. The G came, and he got them all revived. Everybody nice and happy. Lynch getting off a pan of fire, but not actually making contact with anybody. 7 minutes, 43 seconds on the clock. We've got NARF all over the tower. They're hitting the tower early this time around. Looking like they definitely want to hold off the team of that team. That, that, I think, surprised them in that last round. I don't think they were expecting FX to come back with that time in 3 minutes and 21 seconds. Amazing work. Right now, though, 7.26 on the clock. Checking the shipping halls, and here come the FX team. In the lead is Reaper, wanting to grab the documents for his side. 7.18, and Warbench, back to you. Well, 7.15, Man, I really expended a lot of energy in tonight's shoutcasting here tonight. Cal, Maine, your victors are once again for our new listeners tonight. Team Exodus, 3-0 to zero, over Digital Heresy. Cal in by final score, 2-2. Two to two. And uh, now it is a push on the documents as NARP try to make the defense still looking good at 6-5-2. A fire has been lit beneath the NARP roster here tonight. They realize that they let it slip last engagement. Going to play a little more conservative now with a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 man defense on the upper tier. Now switching to a 4 man defense, now back to a 2. It looks like they were reinforcing that top upper defense, but now switching back to conservative mode, leading that lieutenant and the medic up there. A 3 man defense, in fact. We've got a soldier over here on the corner by the spawn ladder side. Normally you might see someone over by the wall, and you do. You've got the G Narf over here, a medic, so a man on the wall, a man on the upper left hand wall, uh, striking out towards the courtyard with the Panzer and machine gun fire to ensure that the incoming FX team is going to get belittled before they can make the assault on the documents themselves. 607, Axis now reclaiming the shipping hallways, a vital thing for them to maintain control at 601, and it's you. Lynch, or Narf Lynch has his Panzerfaust aimed at that shipping hall door, trying to get a bead on anybody who might be coming through it. Not going to do it, though, as he's taking some long-distance machine gun fire, hits him in the side, and now the Axis comes streaming out of those doors. 
Lots of support fire being thrown out by the Narf Lieutenant. So far, no one seems to have survived that last run, but here we go. Antidote making his way up the side ladder, running as fast as, little, as, fast as his little medic legs will take him, grabs the documents and falls down to the top level, and he's in a gunfight right now, comes out on top, still has the documents, revives his teammate, but that's going to cost him, because he swoops in there, takes him out, and returns the documents. Documents now safe in their little cubby hole, but not going to be safe for very long. Five minutes and 15 seconds left, and already Team Effects has got a couple of good attempts on here, and they come one more time. Vatican grabs the documents, takes a flying leap, nice. and craters, but his teammates were there using a very common... Now, I've seen Narf do this quite a lot. Document carrier craters, and now there's a backup there grabbing the documents for them. Right now, we've got Wildcard one more time, has the documents running out. They are on the grassy field right now, making a run, making a play. This would be a huge play for Team Effects if they can pull it off. Dropping a couple of airstrikes behind them. He is backed up by some of his teammates. Communication tower is in sight. Will they the do it? It looks like they will. Axis win clock is set to 5-2-5. 5 2 5 one five two one on the clock right there for FX. Oh, it comes down to this. Right here and right now. If NARF can beat this time, and we know they can do it, their fastest time, 3-1-6. If NARF can beat this time, NARF are the victors. If FX can hold them off, FX are your new champions tonight. Speakeasy.net, Wolf TV says, It's go time! It's game on! It's going to be a home run. I'm excited, D. You're excited. It's the moment we've been waiting for. It's a classic climax here on the Team Sportscast Network. And you only find it here. Nowhere else. you got Axis Goats and Kittens and DA Destruction and Ale Horns. The Axis Shoutcaster at 515 already. Like sands in the hourglass, so are the days of our Axis lives. Narf better get it done. <laughs> Here they come, D. Axis offensive push right now at five minutes remaining. Let's get ready to batten down the hatches because they're coming for the booty and to make the steal of the documents right now. Four, five, four. Take it away. Dynamite has been planted at that service door. Good push by the incoming Axis team and Narf. They've got their work cut out for them. But here comes an engineer for the FX team. Reaper bending over at Dynamite. the Dynamite and they've got a deep oh yeah, nice. That is going to hurt. They're throwing down. We've got three engineers for the FX team. That was their game plan all along. Get in there and get the Dynamite defused and plant up some dummy Dynamites. Excellent, excellent strategy. Four minutes and 26 seconds left on the clock. Time is ticking, ticking down for that Axis team of the incoming NARF roster. This is just down to the wire, a nerve-wracking game to watch. I can't even imagine what must be going on inside that war room right now. I bet you the air is kind of loose. You know, absolutely. It's got to be wild times, in fact, going on in that war room. I am loath to go check because I'm afraid of missing any one of your little Panzer sweets that you let out here. Four minutes remaining right here. FX still controlling that shipping hall area as uh, the incoming NARF roster trying to get something done. Where is NARF? I do not see them. I see war crime responding back at the hut, backed up now by several members. The rest must be out in the field. A two-man push towards the flag, bounding forward now. They've got control. Here's NARF's chance at 3-4-1 three, four, three, four, to get something done. Out into the field they go, but here's a massive allies for the old allied storage coming to interdict the incoming Axis, and 3-3-0 shuts them down. DA, mass suicide from FX, means Meaning that they might be out of position or they're changing strat to come back and respawn new class, new time, new chance to set up while NARF is pushed back to their spawn. 314, all you. Oh, Dynamite has been planted at the service door with almost three minutes gone by. That is going to cost the NARF team quite dearly. 3.05 left on the clock. They finally get that dynamite plant down. Lynch hanging out inside the flag room. Wants to make sure that it stays in possession of his team. Rest of them all streamed out through the service shipping halls into the hill area right now. Taking a look at what is going on on top of the Tower of Doom. So far, the tower is deserted. We've got two members of the Allies team, Wildcard and Reaper, making their way up. Service door finally breached. Finally. Two minutes, 40 seconds on the clock. Narf needs to get their butts over here or it's going to be game over for them. Right now, Carnage happening on the outside. Dynamite has a plan to the fortress wall. And here come the Axes. Finally, 
and they're making their way up that side ladder, but only to be met with machine gun fire from all sides. Not going to happen. Unsuccessful push by the NARF team. Two minutes and 21 seconds to go. This is literally down to the wire. If I had nails left, I'd be fighting them. Yeah, all right, listeners out there, here's what you do. Get out of your chair. Stand up. It's the nail-biting two-minute mark coming up right now. Vote for your team, hoot and holler, because it comes down to the wire. If NARF can beat this time, NARF is the winner. If they can't get through the FX defense, FX are your champions. One, five, six. A nasty combat going down. The crowd here in Berlin on their feet. Standing by. Get louder and louder at one, four, seven. No sign of NARF now. Very strong FX defense, one, four, two. FX looking good. Impulse old allied storage out here looking strong. Airstrikes around the fortress. Incoming Mitchell Schmitz and the Mustangs dueling in the heavens. One, three, one. Here comes Oblib on the far right-hand side. He's making his way up the covered ladder. Bounding forward, charging in, facing opposition from wildcard. Oblib still alive, one, two, zero. And alive, but a warrior is going to take him down. And a warrior dominates. It's right there, backed up now by FX Reaper. 112 is on the clock, DA. The countdown underway. Here comes the G Narf. The medic charging forward at 105. Axis with the stealing the documents goes down and craters. The Axis have got it. They've got the chance to bring it home. DA, seven se 57 seconds on the clock. Grabbed now by War Crime. We're going to take it home right here. Bounding home. Can he do it? He's got it. Can he be the man, the hero, or the zero? 46 seconds. Narf in a position now to be the champions to beat the time. 41 seconds. Can they score the goal? Bounding home. Narf, will they be the champions? 35 seconds. Nearly there. Running inside. 30 second warning. Inside now. And they beat the time on the clock. Goal. 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 It's over. Narf are your champions tonight. 3-2. to two. Victory. Booyah. That was amazing. Four minutes and 50 seconds. The time set by NARP beating by 31 seconds. They beat the time set by Team Effects coming up with two to zero. Sorry, two to two. I can't even speak. I'm so excited. That was such an exciting game. I can't even talk. Score three to zero. NARP does it one more time. They are the Cal Invite champions. RTCW third, fourth time in a row. Unbeatable. Amazing work. And Team Effects just Oh my god, that was an exciting game. Stick around for the recap, because holy crap. <laughs> Man, Narf cannot be taken down. Unreal, DA. Beat the time of 4-5-1 with a time of 4-5-0. Narf are your champions tonight. Let's hear it for Narf. Narcotics are fun. They'll be at QuakeCon. We won't. That sucks. But hey, what can you do? Stick around, we'll be back with a recap in a moment. <laughs> Narf is all, man. Narf ain't all, man. Narf is Narf, baby. Good job. Oh, yeah, I forgot. What Way a game. This match. What a game, guys. Oh, yeah. It was a great game. One of the best I've ever seen. <laughs> My God. Dominating tonight. Three to two. Final score. How do you feel? Good. Oh, great. I bet. Amazing. <laughs> I have a boner, Warwick. Oh, oh my fucking god! Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, at any point were you guys concerned? I mean, FX really hit hard. Uh, uh no. I don't know. <laughs> we, we knew <laughs> we FX. had it after we went up, after we were up 2 and 1, I think we pretty much knew we had it. It was just a matter of uh, executing what we wanted uh. to do. Go ahead, Gabe. Yeah, we just had to get, we just had to buckle down and get our, uh, get our strategies, uh, working smoothly, and we did that, and, uh, it showed. You know, at round four, set one, it looked like you guys kind of slowed down a little bit, like your momentum had kind of uh, hit a bump when you got that 719 grab time. What was going on there? 
Well, for that run, we switched our defense off, and our offense was, was getting a little herded there, but uh, we made the adjustments that we needed to, and, uh, and that's what ended up bringing us back up top. You know, absolutely, because uh, DA and I a little concerned at that point. FX then came back with that startling time of 312, tied up the game 2-2, two to two, and we're oh. saying, man, this is a new ball game. And you guys, at that point, you were still not concerned. You felt this is still your game. Yeah, we, we thought we had the spawn time right, and it turned out uh, we were pretty much completely wrong, and they spawned on us and uh, caught us all at about 30 seconds spawn time. Oh. And then it was just a matter of them executing the last kills. Man. Good stuff, but ultimately a victory 3-2. to two. Uh, This season for you, it's your third victory in a row. The Doctors only had two. Abuse only had two. You are the only, you're the team to break the curse. You've carried on to a third victory. You've got other victories beneath your belt, but three in Cal. Uh, dominating invite time, and again, are we going to see you guys just as strong in season four? Yeah, because, dude, we got marijuana. It just saves the day. <laughs> We got TSN Don't Condone Drugs. All right. Uh, good time. So what do you, what's next for you guys? QuakeCon, of course, is coming up, uh, which is going to be an exciting event. You guys probably want to take number one at that. Uh, what other? What, what else can we expect from NARF in the coming days? Well, after QuakeCon, there's the cyber athlete thing in L.A. that might happen. But uh, besides that, we're just looking to win QuakeCon, and we're going to do a couple land practices and get it going down and uh, have a good time there, hopefully, you know, meeting all the clans and all. And then from there, if there's another season of Cal, we'll play it, probably. Now, since you guys are hanging out together, I imagine it's it's party time at this point. Uh, oh, yeah, no, we, we got land. two rooms. No. Yeah. Oh, no, no, we're not hanging out today. Oh, yeah. all right. Oh, so you're not land. My bad. Well, no, no, actually, no, we today, land. we did not land for wow. this, uh, this match. <laughs> so for those of you guys that say that we're all land, yeah. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. But hey, 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 Warwich, Warwich, Yo. don't get us wrong, because I'm on my way in about ten minutes to go drink some mad beer with my homies. There you That's go. That's what's going to happen. Oh. Hey, where are we drinking tonight, by the way? Yeah, where are you guys? I've my pad. house for a while. Riverside, California. That's where it's on tonight. Yeah, I'm going to fly out. I'll be, I'll be there in a couple hours. <laughs> Congratulations, guys, on your yeah. victory. <laughs> Champions again of uh, the Cal League invite. Boy, FX really brought a good game. Those guys are champions themselves. It's a shame that someone has to walk out the loser. But you guys definitely deserve to be the winner. Uh, they, they played hella good. They they are one of the most dominating teams that uh, pretty much all Wolf has seen in a while. And, and they really brought a great game. I was just uh, glad that we could step up and take it. What to give you? Yeah, mad props to FX. Give you guys these chants right here. Any shout-outs to any sponsors or friends or allies, girlfriends, access go, whatever. Give those shout-outs, and I'll let you guys Game go sessions party. And uh, Metamule, our good man, Cosmic Shame, always hooking it up real good. You guys should check him out. Uh, www.metamule.com. Metamule. Everyone. And uh, I'm going to go roll the blunt. <laughs> And uh, to the homies WSW, they uh, streamed us for like uh, like 20 hours this week. There, I give them pop. Yeah. Good old West Side Wolves. Oh, yeah, and, and for Enoch cruising over the other night. Well, congratulations. Well, I'm signing off. Gentlemen, good job. Narf, you are the champions. We'll see you soon. <laughs> good times. Let's see if DA's around. ID just got back from the Narf War Room. These guys are excited. As you can imagine. Can you blame them? Because, mm -hmm. wow, that was a fantastic game. One of the most exciting that I've seen. Man, am I ever glad I came back from my little vacation to cast this. Uh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I mean, what a way to get back into RTCW. You know, take a little vacation, a little break. And bam, you come back to a 3-2 to two invite championship game. I want to thank Cal. I want to thank the teams. I want to thank the listeners out there for remembering your sometimes... Lazy TSN shoutcasters who disappear for months at a time. But no, we're all, we always got love for the wolf. Sometimes real life just kicks us in the shorts, as has been the case lately. But a great game to come back to. A rocking game here tonight, in fact, and a massive victory for NARF. Quick rundown. Give us a recap, DA. 
taking a look at what happened. Starting out, Team Effect got the ball rolling in round one of set number one. 8-18 was the time they set, and Narv was unable to beat that. So 1-0 for Team Effect after one full set. Looking at set number two, round number one, 3-16. Best time of the game was set by Narv. Team Effect had their work cut out for them, but they weren't quite able to do it, so Narf ties it up in set number two, and one to one is the score. Heading into set number three, nine minutes and 40 seconds set by Team Effect. Narf comes back, though, and five minutes and 40 seconds brings the score two to one at the end of set number three. Round number four was an important one. Narf set in a time of seven minutes and 19 seconds. Everyone thought it was game over, but no, Team Effect still had a little bit of life left in them. 3 minutes and 21 seconds, their best time by far, brings the game to a 2-2 tie. Looking at round number 5, this was an amazing round. I, if you didn't watch it, I feel so sorry for you. 5:21 is the time set by Team FX. Excellent time. It was down to the wire, but Narf, I don't know what they did. They reached into that bottomless bag of tricks and one more time. By 31 seconds, they took the game. 4:50 was the time they set. Good enough to give them point number three. Three to two is the final score, and Narf does it one more time. They are your Cal Invite Finals champions for like what the 94th time in the row because yeah <laughs> go narf that kicked ass <laughs> no kidding i to handle some shout outs here very quickly uh hard to get to them in a game like that a shout out to sia and, and nair <laughs> man the crazy european names two crazy europeans dialed in at 5 30 in the morning gotta love it when the europeans are dialed in love those you good stuff and uh man I'm just, I'm just <laughs> saving. <sighs> All right, so other great stuff coming up uh, in the coming days for the Team Sportscast Network. We've got some great LAN events coming up. CPL action brought to you by our incredible Counter-Strike team. These guys are top-notch professionals. Counter-Strike may not be your game, but... Uh, you got to listen. Trust me. It's going to be good times. Good times to be had by one and all. Many other lands. We've got the... Uh, what, what's going on in California? The... Uh, I, I forget. I'm going to be there. I can't remember. What is that, Dean? California... No one really knows what's going on. What's the name of that? Made just yesterday, uh, I believe. WCG? The WCG. All right, yeah. There we go. WCG craziness happening. Sounds like the event is going to be changed, going to be moved, date going to be changed. No one really knows, but that will be announced soon. But regardless, TSN will be there bringing you all the action. Warcraft, Counter-Strike. I believe we even have some FIFA soccer stuff going on, but it's going to be a good time. Warwich will be there, so uh, you got to tune in if just for that. Yeah, I will be there in person, naked, shoutcasting Counter-Strike, apparently, which <laughs> is going to be weird. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be weird. All the listeners are going to be like, why are the terrorists suddenly German? Why is there a goat? Why <laughs> is there a goat? You never know. The R6CW <laughs> listeners will understand, and they'll sit back, and they'll nod their head, and they'll say, yes, yes, yes. You know what's up. The Team Sportscast Network, www.tsncentral.com. It's been an amazing night, amazing coverage. It's been great to have you back, D. The DA of Destruction here, the Axis Go, TSM Sado, who unfortunately got shot down in the field. I think he crashed against that document tower, hence that gaping hole in the side of the wall. So hopefully he's going to recover from that, that that crash and burn. But we've had a great time. Great games, your victors tonight. Digital Heresy versus Team Exodus. Team X, they walk out the victor. They're your champions going to advance to the Cal Invites next season and your invite champions well who else but narf narcotics are fun for a third time in a row they're like the los angeles lakers they're just not gonna let go well they did this last season but they anyway. are unstoppable they are old school edmonton oilers old school montreal canadians for all of you hockey fans out there know what i'm talking about narf they seem to be unbeatable can anybody take down the narcotics are fun crew I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. Excellent game. I have to give another quick shout-out. Major love going to, to Narf for making the game so excited for me. Because four-man Panzerkill is basically the surefire, fastest way to my heart. Kill lots of people with the Panzerfaust, and it makes DA very, very happy. So thanks a lot, Narf. I'm going to assume that was just for me, and I liked it. Yeah, I know, you know, normally I'd get into the X Factor and player of the game, and I should do all that, but I have got to get going. I've got to go out and, uh, and go to the nightclub and seize a girl. So, 
That being said, ladies and gentlemen, thanks all for dialing in. TSN's coverage of the RTCW comes to an end. Your champions tonight, Exodus and Nut. DA and Orange, we're out of here. Good night. Good night.